Yo, what is up guys? Dale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are well. If you're new here, if you could hit the subscribe button, it really helps me out. And also, if you guys could smash the like button, it would be much appreciated. So, big news in British boxing today. IBF featherweight champion Josh Warrington has left Frank Warren and rejoined Eddie Hearn. I've got to be honest, this news really shocked me. To me, this came out of left field, and I really wasn't expecting it. You know, I know a lot of fans out there don't really like Frank Warren, but in the case of Josh Warrington, I actually felt he did a really good job in managing his career, you know? He obviously got him that world title. He fought Lee Selby in Leeds as the challenger. You know, he got that pay-per-view fight against Kyle Frampton, which he won. He also beat Kid Galahad, and you know, Frank Warren really went hard to win that purse bid, and you know, arguably that won him the fight, having it home advantage in Leeds. Maybe that's what pushed that fight in his favour, so as a promoter, I do believe Frank Warren has done a very good job by Josh Warrington, and that's partly why I'm surprised he's leaving, to be quite honest. You know, especially when you consider, in the featherweight and super featherweight divisions, most of the best options are with top rank, and as we know, Frank Warren and top rank have a pretty good relationship. You know, over at top rank, you've got guys like Shakur Stevenson. That fight would obviously be a unification fight. You know, in the super featherweight division, you have the likes of Oscar Valdez and Jamel Herring. You know, world title fights in a second weight class. So all of the options were at top rank, and theoretically you would imagine... Being with Frank Warren, it would be easier to get those fights with the guys I've just mentioned. Actually, when the news broke out about Warrington leaving, I was actually speculating that I think Warrington's best option would actually be signing for top rank. And yeah, I was kind of surprised when he re-signed with Eddie Hearn. Obviously, Eddie Hearn and Sky Sports have, you know, the biggest platform in the country in regards to boxing coverage. I've seen a few people out there try to say otherwise, that's absolute nonsense. In terms of coverage and reach, Sky Sports are the absolute best place to be. So there's that positive. But in regards to getting these big fights, who can he really fight on Sky who's readily available? The winner of Scott Quigg and John O'Carroll, maybe? That's a half-decent fight, but not on the same level as the likes of Shakur Stevenson, Oscar Valdez, Jamel Herring, Miguel Burchell. You know, the Quigg Carroll winner is a decent fight for Warrington, but, you know, I expect something a bit better. Maybe now Warrington's gone to Sky, we will see the rematch between Kid Galahad and Josh Warrington. Who knows? I mean, as boring as the first fight was, it certainly wasn't conclusive. So maybe Sky might push to make that rematch between those two and really promote it, who knows? But yeah, interesting story this. Again, I was surprised Josh Warrington left Frank Warren especially going back to Eddie Hearn. But, you know, boxing is the sport that continues to surprise us, and I've got to say, in terms of signings, it is a really good signing for Eddie Hearn, and, you know, it's great for his stable, adding a ready-made world champion like Josh Warrington, unbeaten, a guy with a great fan base. It's a great signing, it really is. Hopefully we can see Warrington in these big fights. Don't get me wrong, the fights with Stevenson, Valdez, Burchell, etc., they can still happen, but from my perspective, you know, I would have thought these fights would have stood a better chance of getting made under Frank Warren. But regardless, Frank Warren is no more for Josh Warrington, Eddie Hearn is his new promoter. And I'll tell you this, Frank Warren now is in a really precarious position because his stable now has no world champions. The second biggest promoter in this country doesn't have a world champion. In recent months, he's lost Billy Joe Saunders, and now, obviously, Josh Warrington. That's a massive blow to his stable, and it's a massive blow to his BT deal, you know, in regards to putting on good shows, putting on dates. He's got some good young talents, but, you know, that only goes so far. You need some ready-made world champions in your stable, some real world-level fighters, and right now, Frank Warren really doesn't have that. I mean, his best prospects right now are Daniel Dubois and, I would say, Anthony Yard. I mean, he doesn't have a promotional contract with Tyson Fury. 
he's hanging around, but he doesn't have a contract. So Frank Warren is really in a precarious position. I'll tell you what, he needs Daniel Dubois to win that fight against Joe Joyce. He really does. So I expect him pulling out all the stops to give him the best chance to do so, if you know what I mean. But yeah, really interesting. Really, really interesting. Didn't expect this news. Share your thoughts below. Share your reactions. What do you think of this move? Peace.